the University of California, Berkeley, this TechCrunch Robotics event gave us a glimpse of the future. This is Boston Dynamics' dog-like robot called Spot Mini. No price yet, but the company plans to start selling it commercially next year. University of California, Los Angeles researchers unveiled early prototypes of robots that are taking on the problem of walking, something not easily mastered. The robot Nobby solved this by walking sideways. There are no sensors on it. UCLA's new robot Alfred has four limbs, which can also be used to manipulate objects. The true science fiction Jetsons or these uh, C-3PO from Star Wars robots, 20 years, 30 years, maybe more. It might sound a little odd for uh, uh, roboticists to say this, but I think uh, the general public's expectation is just way too high. This University of California Berkeley designed gripping robot picks objects at half the speed of a human. But researchers say it's gotten twice as fast in the past year and believe it can exceed humans in a couple more. As artificial intelligence and automation technology continues to improve, we're going to see more and more robots in our lives, like the server robot Penny from Bear Robotics. Thank you very much. But many are also concerned what will happen to human jobs. A number of tech leaders like Tesla CEO Elon Musk have called for a universal basic income because of all the jobs automation is likely to wipe out. Are robots going to replace jobs? Is that inevitable? No, I don't think so. In fact, I think we're going to actually have a shortage of human workers in the future because of the demographics. We have many, many workers leaving the workforce because they're aging and we don't have enough uh, new workers coming in. It's able to, to do some things better than humans, but there's many things where humans are going to be necessary. We've looked at this over a 20 year period. Every time in the U.S. when robot sales go up, unemployment goes down. And when robot sales go down, unemployment goes up. I think that doesn't sound like a job killer to me. And it's because the real threat to employment is when companies can no longer compete. But without question, some robotic devices unveiled here will improve the quality of human life. SUDEX showed its new robotic exoskeleton that aims to cut the price of technology that can help the paralyzed walk. That's incredible. Mark New, CGTN, Berkeley, California.